Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows Error 2 occurred when loading the Java VM. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to go ahead and open up your Java settings if Java is installed on your computer. So if you search for Control Panel, go ahead and open that up. Sort your view by by large icons and then open up Java. If you do not see Java listed in here, I recommend closing out of this and opening up a web browser. Search for Java into Google and then just select java.com and then you can select download Java for Windows. Again, get it directly from java.com here. And we're going to select the download Java button, this green button here. And go ahead and open up that setup file once it's done downloading should be a verified publisher and select yes then you can close out of the web browser at this time select the install button Okay, so we've successfully installed Java. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here, and I'm actually going to restart my computer at this time. Okay, now that our computer is back up here, we're going to open up the search menu and type in control panel again. Go ahead and access the control panel, view by, select large icons, and now you're going to select Java 32-bit. Select the update tab. On the bottom, select versus update now. So just go ahead and check and see if there's any updates available for Java. And then we can go ahead and select OK again and close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in Advanced System Settings. Best match. Or come back with Advanced System Settings. Go ahead and open that up. Select the Environment Variables button. Underneath system variables, you want to locate the path variable, and it should say Oracle and Java in the name of it here. You want to select the delete button, and then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. So hopefully at this point your issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.